So we are back in Kettlebridge and we're going to be working on the area of Spencer Croft today. We've got some fantastic ideas. One of them is to remove these buildings, but we'll get back to that because we have the new patch. Let's take a look at our city. We're on pause. So this is how it was running before the patch. And we've got a lot of not enough customers that are popping up all over the place. That's high rent, not enough customers over here. And Colossal Order have said that you need to run your game a little bit, which we're going to start doing now for it to balance out. But there's been a lot of changes. So we'll keep our eye on all of these symbols and see what happens with those. Also, we mentioned the college level has been adjusted now so if we have a look at our education we can see this has jumped right up which we didn't have this being correctly um, mentioned before so we've got eligible that many capacity that much we've got this many going and hopefully this education chain has now been fixed which is going to solve i think a lot of problems in the city we've got this one down here let's turn that one on and then just take a look at our capacity so that's going to jump our capacity right up and cost us a lot of money but we've got a lot of people that live this side of town that really could do with going to college so i don't think there's a way of easily seeing citizen education red is low uh, education coverage bad it's hard to sort of tell i think the education coverage if i could say that right this bad one is the road color so we haven't got the best coverage over here we've got what's that an elementary a college so we probably need another elementary school can we just increase this one? What have we got? 510 out of 1,000. I mean, if we just sort of... See, we're not even filling that up. Yeah, I think possibly another elementary school. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then we don't have a high school over here. Although we're going to start building in this area. So I think once we get to over here, we're going to start adding in a lot of new things as well. So we'll come back to all of those items. Right, so one big change we're going to do over here in Spencer Croft. And just before we do that, a word from our sponsors, Instant Gaming. If you wish to order City Skylines 2, please consider using my affiliate link, which you'll find in the pinned comment below and on screen right now. When doing so, you will receive a Steam key, which can be redeemed on Steam as normal, but with some fantastic discounts. Plenty of other games are available too. I do love a bit of FC24 footy, and Forza is certainly my cup of tea as well. Thank you very much for your support. Let's get back to the video. As we put all these buildings in last time, and as much as I like these mixed-use buildings, they just block these lovely sort of turret roundabout type things that we've got along here. So all of these are going to go. And I'm even going to remove all the offices that we've zoned out as well. There we go. And then with a quick bit of judicious deleting we can free up this space and be ready for what we're actually going to use it for there we go oh and there's all the people walking around and if i zoom in i am still getting 60 fps because these have all been changed now as well according to the patch notes with slightly lower poly if we zoom in a bit i don't have developer mode on so we can't sort of test things but i can't see any teeth <laughs> i can still see the eyeballs everybody has their mouth shut i don't know i think they've definitely gone well they said they've gone for a lower poly resolution and i'm getting i'm still getting 60 fps even with all these people here so that is a definite boost to the game right so we are going to put along the back here some eu medium residential buildings um so we can still see this and they don't grow too high that is the length i want for back so let me just zone all of this in there we go excellent very good very good and then um do i want them to be able to park on this road i'm thinking i only want them to park on the road that is the side where they live so what am i going to put on the other side i think grass and trees would go quite well um, let's just start it from there for now and then we can come all the way along there we go to the other side and then we're going to add trees hmm i don't think i started on the correct side yes i did trees from there oh auto save but have a quick sip of tea after i put these trees in there we go there we go excellent so they can park on this side got some nice trees on the other side we are getting a little bit of a glitch at the minute the potato trees with this patch as we can see <laughs> it's like oh dear patch fixes a load of things and then 
messes up with something else i don't think there's a workaround for that at the minute so we're going to have to sort of avoid the potato trees at the moment bit of an annoyance um i'd also like to bring those down here as well we're going to need to do a little bit of terraforming so this spencer croft here what i really want to do is make sure that it's got plenty of ways in and out because i know at the minute basically people can come in on this and they can go all the way around to there and then they've got to all come down there and come in one of these roads or they're going to come in here that is going to make a lot of traffic coming up there so we are going to work on that as well what does that look like along here so you don't all walk away because you're going to have somewhere to live yeah it slopes up here towards the end doesn't it which is a little bit odd so yeah maybe we'll just pop some of these down the side here as well one two three four maybe up to there yeah and then we'll skip that last little bit and then this little section in the corner which is going to be left over um i'd like this to be like a little park area which i think would be good we can't place obviously parks against paths that's not in this version of the game but if i can do something like it let me go to that length that's good and then can i go out this way without breaking anything I go a little bit further down how does that go yeah that's okay looks a bit weird coming off the corner there but you know that's fine um we're gonna have parking off of these roads that's no problem and then we can pop in here now what could we pop in we've got a small park small plaza small playground let's have a small playground and a dog park and i think something like that people can come across here and enjoy that um, like i said we don't have developer mode on so i can't sort of do anything with all of this grass but we could beautify it with a few trees like this there we go very nice and i'd love to come back and look at this once the trees have all grown in but i think that will be uh very nice for all the people that are living here excellent oh everyone's moving in we've had lots of demand which is exactly what we want to see now this road that's going down here i'd like to sort of make that a little bit of a feature so we did remove those tall buildings right from the back here i'd like to add in some more of these mixed use buildings but i'm trying to sort of decide the best place to put them yeah i'm thinking of this road here if we can i mean that is the sort of road that goes through the middle of all of this but we've got this connecting road which we can connect up in a few more places if possible i'm thinking of actually making this a pedestrian street and then building some houses off of there and i think that would actually work quite well let's just get that all the way to the end so that's going to bring you into the park area too um and then let's just grab our little path here because i want the zoning to be off the main road if i just sort of go up to there is that enough to switch it it is there we go that will be okay that's okay yeah that's okay all the way down excellent so then if we grab these i'm just thinking how far back do we want to go if i just do that sort of corner piece first I mean, it's a shame there's that sort of bend there you won't really get the sort of full effect until we're down here but i don't want these to be huge so if we go three back and sort of three back and a couple of two backs here that'll be okay and then what i want is it to match on the other side as well so if we do the same here there we go and we'll see what we get i'm hoping we're going to get a corner building i don't think we are looking at that how about if i zone this a little bit bigger and then delete those i want to get like a full corner building in and then we can sort of fill this one in afterwards we'll see what happens there okay and then the next little section uh in here so people complain about high rent please do not complain about the high rent we're making money what is the wealth is quite high crime i think we're going to just ignore that until we've built up this area a bit more because there's quite a few other little things we're going to pop in here then what i would like is along here to have some mid-rise density because we i mean we don't have any need for that just yet but i know we will so we're going to go three back on this side with mid-rise density we're going to lose that tree boink and i think that'll be good and then we've got a lot of low density demand and then we can sort of sprinkle in some low density around here as well i don't want that coming off the side road yeah i'm just sort of thinking about the size of these now are they going to start complaining about the rent do you know what let me just remove all of that let me just sort out some of the zoning first so we've got it more sort of in the middle rather than off the side so like this 
Let's just put a straight road uh, path in there. That one's okay. That's okay. There we go. That really didn't do much, did it? Let's try that again. If I go there, it's going to... There's not enough room. Do I need to bring that all the way down? All the way? Yeah, we'll get a little one there. Okay, and then we'll do the same here. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is draw these in a little bit smaller instead. I uh, know uh, it was these, wasn't it? Just so we can keep the cost of the rent down. And I don't mind having little gaps in between like that. So this is the zoning that we've gone with. This sort of two by three shape all along here. And then smaller ones of that sort of size. Some of them are growing in already. And then we've got our mixed use that's going down this road over here. Let's take a look at this. And while we're just looking at this, talking about the graphics issues, um, just mentioning that to Colossal Order, they said reset all of your graphic settings. So we've all been tweaking different things over time. These are growing in nicely, aren't they? I like this. Um, so I've reset all of my graphic settings to high. I've turned off motion blur, turned off depth of field, because I don't like those and i've switched to taa instead of smaa or whatever it is and that seems to have fixed the problem we will keep our eyes on it as things progress lots of people now moving in and i'll tell you what the game feels a lot smoother as well so that's good oh we're making money which is nice still a few complaints uh, how are we doing with that oh look no more lack of customers down here. We've got one over there. Oh my goodness, we've got some traffic. And I know what this is. This is all the people moving in. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Um, just high rent over there. That's fine. We can work on that. And no more lack of customers over here. Excellent. That is what we want to see. Um, oh, let's have a look at our traffic that we've now caused with everybody moving in. And I've got to be honest, you've got to sort of expect this a little bit when you zone a great big new area that this is just not cutting the mustard but what i think we could do with is another way in and out down here which i mean this is sort of like a national i mean it is a highway isn't it um what would be sort of a main road i'm thinking this one here we can make this a little bit of something different let's attach to this we're going to bring so now they can get in there if they want um they can get in i feel like we need a connection across here as well to get in and out on this piece of the highway and i think this piece here would work very well so let's just grab this one and i'm gonna draw that across there as a connecting piece and then we're gonna do a little bit of terraforming here let's make that a little bit smaller we're going to terraform that down to there and do we want that to be a big piece like that as well i think so there's so many turns and things going on let's do that so that will give you a load of extra ways in and out which is good has the game just improved in its looks i think it has you know um this little bit here we are going to upgrade this to a roundabout and we are going to lose a couple of houses so i'm thinking if we're going to lose a couple of houses Let's just pop in a decent size roundabout. And then we've got lots of traffic lights down this road, which I think we don't need. So I want this main road to continue. We'll leave the traffic lights on the crossing. I don't want parking on the couplet either, but we'll come back to that in a second. So then hopefully, is there any traffic lights down here? No, no. And then this bit's coming in here. Yeah, so this is sort of turning into a main road as well this one and i'm thinking just for this little entrance piece we're just going to upgrade this there we go we're going to upgrade that one there we go there we go that's going to remove the parking in a few places um that one oh no that's one way road isn't it no we don't want to do that make it go the wrong way but i could change this to a highway road it's going to remove all of the zoning around it though and i'm not entirely sure i want to do that but what i do want to do is remove all the parking so if we made this a wider than normal sidewalk that would remove if i go like this that would remove the parking but it will make it like a really thin road whereas if we just do grass I think I prefer the look of that. So I'm going to grassify this all the way right down to the end here on that side. And then I'm going to do it from there. Oh, 
using all my fingers at the same time all the way up to there which is sort of done already and then i'm going to do these ones as well it's sort of not letting me quite do it there for some reason which is weird why is it not oh is it because it's got this wall thing it won't let me add it on oh maybe that's what it is oh here comes excuse me <laughs> what a professional youtuber yeah okay so i think we'll go with that but i want to get as many connections through here as possible because a lot of these roads sort of dead end yeah there we go that'll be good right so we're gonna need some services and things in here because we're definitely going to be struggling with all of that sort of stuff because so far we have in spencer croft 2600 odd people so let's grab some schools and yeah services and things like that so i'd like to utilize this park area here i'm just thinking about adding some roads in we could sort of have that one come all the way along the back there and that could be our elementary school um, if we go sort of all out towards the park, I think that will fit in there nicely. And in fact, I'll tell you what I want to do is I want to turn that around. So I'm going to add a very small road like this that's going to come along the side and connect to there. And then we're going to just swizzle that around the other way so all the kids can enjoy the lovely views. Let's turn off the snapping so we can get that right where I want it there we go that's better they can enjoy the views out there and um, we are gonna have problems with adding on any extra bits aren't we so let me just think how we're going to do that if i delete that along there how far along does this need to go to give us road access i mean would across there be fine it would yep there we go everybody's happy so we could add the children's clinic and then these two sort of go over the top of that but then we've got the playground as well which I don't think we're going to fit both in, which is a bit of a pain. But if we move it all forward, we can fit the playground out the back there. And I'm going to pop the children's clinic right out the front here as well. And we can do a little bit of jiggery pokery with the road up to there. That's good. And then we can add a little parking lot, I think. Let's put my snapping back on uh, out the front of the school like that. And then we've got space for a little bit of zoning around there as well. Looking good, looking good. The high school, I would like to pop into this area. So that is that is going to fit. I'm going to turn off all of my snapping and I'm going to, I want it again facing this way. So I'm going to get as close as I can to the park at the back. And then we're going to draw a little road connection in here if we can oh man i don't know how this is going to work let's turn off all of my snapping if i go like that and then bring that across there and then bring that across there how does that look i mean it's a little odd little connection but it's off the main road they've got all the views out the back um oh i've just thought about adding all the other things on what can we add on so we've got extension wing which is fine we've got whatever that was which is fine the library the sports field that is never going to go on here anyway what would that have given us outdoor recreation we are going to cover that in other ways so i'm not too concerned about that right we can detail that in a bit and then for our services yeah we've got nothing at all i want this area over here behind our bus station to have the services if i put my snapping back on thank you very much then we can bring some little roads in here i think so if i go that way again let's test so that goes on the side that goes on the back do we need to add that one on extra patient capacity no not yet but we know where it can go so that's fine um the same for our fire we've got nothing here so i'm going to put that off of this little side road that we've got here as well there we go and i think that's just an extension wing so that's no problem um police station we don't have anything like that no so could we maybe utilize this little spot here oh, do you know what i'm thinking we might try and angle this building instead so if i turn off all my snapping let's angle that along here if i can get that in the middle yeah something like that just to add a little bit of interest and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring that road that could literally go straight in there and that could go not straight in there so we'll just have that one connection over there yeah that's good there we go they're off they've got things to do places to be 
Go and sort the crime. Excellent. So that's all of our services. We do have the welfare office and the city hall. Now, this city hall is big. And I think that could go in this area. But I'm wondering whether ooh, we could really get a nice spot for this and maybe save that for later. Let's see how things go. We have lots of demands that we need to fill. So now we can come back over here and I can fill in all of these little gaps and things or do i want to fill in all these little gaps yeah we've got a few little gaps i want to fill in oh wow i was just looking around thinking what can we do about this high rent and you notice that this area over here where we physically adjusted all the ha houses to us the houses <laughs> the houses to a smaller size i mean i think it looks better we've only got one person complaining of high rent whereas the area where it was just randomly done there's lots of yeah high rent complaints but we're making so much money now which is nuts um, high crime, unreliable mail. I'm going to look at the mail in a minute. I know there's some issues with the mail. But what I'm thinking is, is we can adjust our tax rate down. I'm going to drop this a couple of spots. So even though it's not being mentioned in here, uh, well, there's something. Fair taxes plus one. Oh, okay. I've never seen that before. So we might find that some of these go down. If they don't, then you'll probably find that most of them are large properties. So I'm going to do my normal trick of just like taking a little bit off their garden. <laughs> yeah, look, another large property. Oops, accidentally did that one as well. Sorry, fella. Um, but we'll see how that goes. We've, we've done both little tricks. We'll see what happens. This one here. Oh, yeah, that's one I just did. And the traffic's gone down now that we've removed a load of the traffic lights and got the roundabout in. That's good. Right, so what else can we um, unlock to put in here? Well, let's take a look at our postal services. Now, a lot of people have been saying that this is broken. And what's interesting, if you look down here, um, are they actually mentioning unreliable mail service? So when your city is smaller, and we found this on the live stream that we did recently, they will quite happily send their post out the city or you know postal services will come from outside the city and they will deal with it once you get to a certain size that tree's expanded its fire once you get to a certain size then it starts becoming a problem now there seems to be possibly a little fix to this so what we're going to do is we've got a post office uh, mail capacity 500 storage 100,000 post vans 20 and then this just takes it off the chart let's just pop in um, a local post office in a few of our areas so let's pop one in spencer croft actually if we leave that on we can see the coverage i'm going to zoom out and hold it against there so we can sort of see the distance that goes so we could place it over here somewhere and it's going to go right near to this main road near this roundabout but off the side road so that covers a lot of that area. So then I think we just need another one over here somewhere. Yeah, we've got this little spot here outside of our other bus station or bus depot over here. So I think that will be all of that side pretty much covered, which is good. And then over this side, yeah, we've got this little roundabout here, which is only really serving sort of like a T-junction. So what I'm thinking of doing is just bringing in, let's pop some snapping on, a small road like this if i could get that to 90 degrees i don't think it's gonna actually okay if we turn off this one here we might be able to get it to 90 degrees i mean it's like near enough <laughs> we'll go with that and then we'll curve that around into there just for a little bit of added uh connectivity that's good and if we pop that one in here that's gonna cover that's gonna cover most of that island and then we just want one down the end here somewhere as well. And there's a little spot here in the middle of all these commercial buildings. Just wondering if we could make that work. If I snap it to that road, then bring it back as far as we can without destroying anything. There we go. And then could we use a little alley to come up the side here? I think we can. Let's bring that along there. 
that will fit in nicely excellent so they're going to go out and i need to do a bit of smoothing there they're going to go out and collect the post or auto save but what we need to do is have some mailboxes so post office vehicles pick up the mail periodically from the post boxes so that just works like in real life so i'm assuming that once you plot these down um, let's maybe pick a spot off the main road here there we go it's hard to see any coverage because we've already got the coverage from this one can we turn that off postal facilities post vehicles mailboxes mail accumulation post service coverage unfortunately the postal service coverage covers covers these and these so we can't actually see how far apart we need these to go well that's a bit annoying isn't it what about if i turn this building off and then we go back to this menu yeah okay so i'm going to pause the game i might just submit that as a little bug report because that is a bit odd isn't it yeah so it's good that they've got coverage everywhere but we want to make sure that our post boxes have got coverage everywhere so if i just pop another one down yeah now you get a better idea but don't forget there's so many people living in some spots here that we're going to want to make sure they've got really good access to post boxes what are these costing us they're not costing us anything but we're getting some xp so yeah let me just go around and plop these in and then i'll turn all the post boxes and we'll have everything covered here's all the vans going out good grief there's so many of them i'm just about to turn your building off so good luck oh yeah much easier now you sort of pop this down you immediately get that green area of effect around where you're placing it that is what i was expecting very good okay there we go so if we look at the roads most of them are green i'd not bother with trying to cover the couplet and sort of this area in the middle here but everything else is nicely covered this is only a bit of forest i did know what, i'll pop one in here there's industry down here as well isn't there let's just pop one in the middle there we go so let me turn on the post offices and let's see how this works oh, oh and one more thing and i think this is possibly the fix that we need to do is we need to select the operating districts so we've got that post office for spencer croft and we won't put forestry in that one that's a little bit too close no didn't mean to do that there we go and then this post office is going to be teal and downs and we'll have you no i tell you what that is such a big area isn't it yeah let's have this one over here here we go do frosty forestry and then these ones over here must remember to press escape we'll have this one doing biffington square is like huge isn't it yeah we'll have you do biffington square but we're also going to have you do biffington square palmer springs that actually is an inner zone but if we add one we'll do that over there as well so hopefully that will work and then what we need to just do is just keep an eye on our post boxes so eventually if we zoom in <laughs> where is it <laughs> there it is i can't see it it's yellow that should fill up with stored mail and then of course they should all come out and pick that up so we'll have to see how that goes are you going to send out any vehicles i guess not this one over here was sending out all their vehicles but i've turned it off and on again so it might yeah they're still going look are you still going out you're not returning you've got lots of mail two tons of mail so you've like instantly spawned with a load of mail from here which you're then delivering destination spruce streets to different places i mean that makes sense you're going to have mail from the outside that comes in okay excellent so while that's going let's zone a little bit more in here we've got some medium uh, demand i want to just go with these ones again and basically go for a i did three wide didn't i they, they're not too bad There we go. Excellent. That's good. And then we've got a lot of commercial needs. So I'm thinking of making a couple of little spots for commercial. I mean, we've got this commercial sort of street that runs down here. Could we continue that down this side? And then it sort of breaks down uh, to smaller offices that side. I think that could work quite well. How deep did we go on these as well? One, two. Again, that was three deep. I'm sticking to sort of three deep. 
But then the other side will leave that open because now we're getting to the park area. There's a crime going on over here. Are you dealing with it at all? Where's the police car coming from? Whoops, where's the police car coming from? Dispatched. Where are you? You're right. <laughs> Hello, you're right there. Excellent. Oh, look. This person seems to be on the run. Well-educated robber. <gasps> Let's follow you. We're going to see what happens. So you are on the run, and now you've disappeared. Oh, there you are. I couldn't see you for looking. What's going to happen with you? Are you just going to stand there? Are you going to... Ah! Oh! You're making a getaway on your bike. The police car's gone. Are you going to continue your life of crime? I think that's how it works. If you don't get caught. <laughs> Let's just see. Are you still a robber? Okay, transporting. Pauline. Still a robber. Well, if we can remember, we can find out what Pauline's doing. Oh, man. She's homeless as well. Oh, that is not good. Okay, we'll come back to that. But that just makes me think, actually, this area over here, we could probably do with some low-rent housing being popped in. I think it may be down here, you know, a little bit more noisy by the highway. Perhaps not the most, you know, nicest place to live, which means the land value is going to be lower. Not that I want to put people in low-rent housing where it's not nice to live, but... Yeah, the ground value is not as high. That's more likely where these sort of blocks of flats type of things are going to go. I know where I lived originally, there was always blocks of flats right by big junctions like this. That's sort of what made me think of it. So we'll do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to still make it a nice place. We're going to pop in a community pool and then we're going to do some other zoning around here as well for everybody. Let's put that not too far away. We've got the offices over here. Let's pop it there. Let's just make sure people can get to it nice and easily with a few paths as well. There we go. So if you want to cut through and get to there, you can, which is good. And then I think we're going to run out of water. Well, pause the game. What is going on? Let's have a look. Services. Water. Okay, I need to open it up here, don't I? Services. Water. Not enough water availability. I think we're running off of... Yeah, what have we got up here? So this is our wastewater treatment, which is fine. But we've been running off this little water thing down here for so long... Can that have any upgrades? Well, we've done the extra pump upgrade. Uh, advanced filtering system we don't need to do. So maybe we could add another groundwater pump down here. Uh, groundwater pump, like on this side, and see how that goes. Let's just speed the game up a touch. Water availability. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're not trading anything, but I don't think we've got any outside connections. So we'll go with that. And then from what I believe, we're still... Yeah, we're not making our own power yet. I've sort of tried to avoid that. It's just like a different way of playing the game. And it's working okay, actually bringing it in and not making our own. I know, again, that's something we can cheese. But, yeah, we're going to go with that. How is our crime coverage? We're getting a bit of complaints. So we've got these in all these different areas. I'm wondering whether we need to upgrade this. We've already upgraded that one. Okay. Do we need to upgrade this one? Yeah, let's upgrade this one. More vehicles. And then let's upgrade this one as well. And try and get on top of our crime. So the more that they look around, see what's going on, that should lower the crime down. This one's been abandoned, which is not very... There's like people outside. Let's just click on that. Is this 65 Elk Street? 1085 Elk Street. I mean, there is nobody in there. I'm going to delete it and then, whoops, and then hopefully it will rebuild and it will be fine. Yeah. Okay. So let us check out some of these little post boxes. We're like heading towards 20,000, which is great. Oh, is that a post van literally coming in this direction as we're talking? So no post in there, but you're still delivering. I'm wondering whether it takes a while the deliveries to happen before oh stored mail there we go someone's just popped some mail in there yeah excellent so they are getting used is there like a uh, mail overview we can have a look on here this one so i mean they are going oh my life <laughs> just gonna say they are going everywhere 
Oh, man alive. I thought that was going to be a big problem, but we're fine. Okay, we'll leave the post collection going. We've got no tornadoes. Oh, jumpy game. So we'll be fine. Okay, so let's continue zoning this out. I mean, as long as we've got medium density residential demand, I'd like to keep sort of popping that in at various spots. I do enjoy it along the main road, and we'll sort of see how that goes. And then eventually, let's just get rid of that there. Whoa, something's jumping in that I don't necessarily want. No, I want this one here. We'll go three back. All the, whoops, all the way down, like so. Thank you kindly. We'll delete that. And then I don't know whether I want it right in the entrance here. I think we'll leave that. And then we've got lots and lots of commercial demand, which could also go with this mixed housing as well. If we could find some other spots. So if we've got it going up and down here, how about we make this a sort of housing main road area as well so we can go let's just go three back along here there we go excellent oh we're up to happy we're making money things are growing could we get to twenty thousand in this episode that would be great uh high crime is still a problem um it looks like Oh, wonkies. That's like changing lanes down here is a bit of an issue. Ah, we don't have dedicated lanes. So let's just upgrade. We'll go into this one here and use the highway one and do that. That should be right there, shouldn't it? And we'll, we'll run that back a little bit further. Is that going to help people? They'll hopefully change their mind at a few various different places. <laughs> what are you doing? I've changed the road. You've disappeared. Okay, it's good I changed the road. They didn't like it. And then... I mean, this seems to be merging in okay. Yeah, we're fine. Everything's going okay. We don't have traffic lights along here. Let's delete some of these. There we go. We've got a lot of park in the middle. I'm thinking whether we want parks in other places as well. Let's just... Oh, what's going on up here? Ah, oh, you've had a bad time. Is this... It's not our robber, is it? Oh, how's our robber doing? Oh, no. Well, no idea what happened to the robber. It's a shame we don't get little pop-ups when something of note is happening with our people because then we could just sort of go and check out what's going on. But unfortunately, we can't. Okay, so how are we doing down here? Okay, down here. We don't have operating districts set. So that's going to be Spencer Croft. Uh, this one here is set to Spencer Croft. Uh, that's an elementary. That's a college. So actually, this high school... Could do Teal and Downs as well. Yeah, and then this college is going to do Teal and Downs and Spencer Croft. So we've got that side of the river covered. And that should be good. Yeah, okay. How are you doing down here? Still doing a bit of winky wonky driving, but we'll sort of go with that. I'm thinking I should have made this road wider. But it's going okay. We are going to just sort of spruce this up a bit, I think which now I've taken away all their parking options. Parking is going to be a problem. So let's have a look down here. We do have the overground parking building, but we do have some other parking dotted around. It's probably pretty large, isn't it? Is that going to be worth popping in here? I mean, with all the offices and other things that are going on, I don't know. It just seems a bit too, a bit too big for me. Let's just use one of these little side areas as a parking that's a shame that won't fit in there as like a little parking zone why have you been abandoned condemned in the wrong zone what oh it's because i've placed something oh i see it's reset this zoning along here so if we just do this again and just remove that then you'll be okay and then if i delete that that should be okay yeah i reset the road by placing something which is another little bug which hopefully they will fix soon um i don't think we've got crematorium over here have we no, that's a medical building. Crematorium's coming from a long way away. So let's place one of those. I want to place that on this side road there. Excellent. That, is that the only one? Is that a crematorium? So that's a medical clinic. So that's the only crematorium this side of the water. So again, I'm going to select our district. Spencer Croft, Teelands Down, Frosty Forestry, and cover all of that. I think that... This one is going to cover Spencer Croft. This one, there it is, is going to cover Teal and Downs and Frosty. Yeah, we just make sure we sort of keep that in the zones, in the districts. 
and hopefully that will work okay. Why are you stopping there? You're not. You're going there. You were thinking twice about what you were going to do. You're turning around in the middle of the road. You're a police car. I suppose you're allowed to do things like that. Yeah, we've got a lot of people moving in. So they're not causing a lot of traffic down there. They're now causing a lot of traffic down here. And when they get to this little bit, I feel like we want to keep things moving. And we've got the space for a bigger one. Yes. We're going to pop that in there. Can I squeeze a small one in? Oh, I could over here, but we don't need it. Yeah, go on then. Can we keep that going? And then can we change that to an asymmetrical road into the roundabout? Ah, oh, it's the same size road game. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then hopefully that'll be good. I'm just wondering then whether I could change this to a two lane road like that. So it comes off as one, spreads into... Two. Actually, we've got in both lanes coming off now, haven't we? So that would mean this would need to be a four-lane road. Back here. Like that. And then maybe down to a three-lane. So you've got one lane to come off. That then splits off again. And then that just gives you all the lane mathematics you need. And then we need to turn the traffic lights off, because I think it's probably popped some down here. Uh, traffic lights off, crossing, off and crossing off and yeah we'll leave it like that let's just keep an eye on this and see how this traffic goes down hopefully there we go that's fine and again with this sort of thing it's normally a big influx of people when you zone something in and then after a while it goes down oh i'm liking these little corner shops Corner buildings, not really corner shops, are they, that have popped up here. These are looking good. I'm glad the texture thing seems to have fixed itself. Everything seems to be working okay. This is looking nice. Some more shops popping up down there. Oh, I do like these mixed-use buildings. They're fantastic. Right here, opposite the parks, which is good. We need to do a little bit more detailing in the parks. We'll get to that. And then our little pedestrian shopping zone as well which is working really well. We do have some postal service workers popping through here, but I think that's sort of the way that's going to work. Oh, coming from up there. Yep, yeah, okay. And we get to the end. We've got all of our mid-rise on the main road here, which is looking good. What's that? Bark Mill Tannery. Okay, excellent. I thought it looked like a pig, and I was right. And we've got some small houses out the back here in a nice little estate. I don't know why it's not growing in some of these. Yeah, I'm thinking this is looking all right. This is looking good. So just checking out the post office in this area. It is collecting posts, and I think that's the trick. You want to set it to certain operating districts and not just to be everywhere. So that seems to be working. Um, I don't think we need to do those, but why don't we try the post sorting? So local and intercity mail. Mail going to and from outside, carried by high-capacity post trucks, which reduces mail-related traffic on the road. Yeah, we're making enough money, aren't we? I don't, why not? I think we'll be fine. Are we still on government subsidies? We are. Okay, hopefully we'll be off those soon. Um, so how big is this building? Whoa, mamma mia, that is huge. Um, yeah, where are we going to put this? I'm thinking over here in our industry area, right by our train setup. Where's the front of this? would be a good idea so if i just face it this way round, could we get like a little road to run along here oh small city we'll take a look at that in a moment let's just hook up this so if we bring that into there that's back out onto the main road and also they're right by i mean that's the rail yard isn't it but right by this cargo train station here that's got all sorts of stuff and yeah i know about this little bug that shows everything because 222 colossal order are very much aware of that as well so then we want to see whether this is going to start sending out uh, any items or not let's just uh, any trucks i should say let's just soften the terrain a bit i feel like we need some roads and parking around here
Actually, there's a lot of parking in there, isn't there? So we'll, we'll leave that like it is. Let's keep an eye on this then and see whether these vehicles go out. So we've got extra storage capacity, automated sorting, um, increased sorting speeds. Okay, a lot of income on that one. Extra loading ramp. So that is going to add to the side. That just goes internally. Yeah, that will need to be added externally. So one of these roads will actually probably need to go. Let's remove that one there so that can go on that side when we need to okay we'll leave that one going and we'll come back and check on that in a bit so let's have a look at small city what have we unlocked now high density offices excellent high speed highways removes highway speed limit traffic flows faster but noise pollution increases and traffic accidents we'll give that one a go combustion engine ban so that's going to be a district one i did mention um before we this game is released that some of these need to have a little marking on it saying whether they're district or city based just so you can sort of have an idea advertising increases the city's attractiveness which brings in more tourists unfortunately it also increases the crime rate around tourist attractions we'll have a look at that in a second so high speed highways i'm thinking if we go down here we can pop this one on so let's just have a look it says increases noise let's have a look at the noise do, 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 do around our highways so the darker towards orange the worse it is so most of this highway through here is just yellow with a couple of little spots where it's orange okay so that gives us a good idea well let's pop this on into city policies high speed highways there we go speed the game up a touch and go back into here is that actually making any difference to the noise not that i can see unless it's going to slowly update all the highways over time doesn't look to me like anything has changed so if that's the case we would definitely have that one on uh, what else have we got in here city promotion yeah, city's attractiveness. So, where do we find our city's attractiveness? I've got a sneaky feeling it's in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Click on tourism, and we've got this number at the top here, 56. So, tourists, we're getting 3,236 a month. Uh, the seasonal weather is making a bit of a difference. Average hotel night costs. We can see that there. Um, hotels. Oh, we do actually have a hotel that's popped up down here. Which is interesting because I've had somebody asking me, how do you get the hotels to pop in or to place? And I think it is literally the game will do that for you. If it thinks you need a hotel, well, with texture bug, there we go. Then it will pop a hotel in for you. And um, what do we get? Sales lodging. Yeah, so no other information. Let's see, what other hotels do we have? There was one over here. Oh, there's a couple over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, this one, the very large motel which is good doesn't tell you how many sleepies doesn't tell me how many people are staying in here but okay well that's interesting interesting to see that okay let's just take a quick snip of that and then we can apply the policy and see what difference it makes so let's jump into here and enable the city promotion there we go we'll speed up the game a little bit and then see whether this changes at all. Right, we'll come back to that. I'm going to do a little bit more zoning in here and see if we can get our population up. Oh, we've passed 20,000. Didn't even notice. 4,790 households in here. Over 6,000 residents. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, while we're zoning all of this in, why don't we unlock tourist attractions and see what that gives us? Here we go. We've got a lot of new items here. The ob observation tower. Is that like so big it won't even... Oh my goodness, that is just huge. A bronze statue. Maybe we can make a place for that. A water park. That could be quite good. And a medieval castle. Oh man, could we build that up here somewhere? And that's definitely going to go in with these items here. Let's just pop in summer season recreation. We're in the summer. Could we pop a water park down here in our little park zone? Yeah, I think what we're going to do is going to get a very small alley. Whoa, auto save, jumpy game. We're going to get a very small alley along the back here. We're going to bring that 
into there we go into there and then hopefully that is going to fit let's just take that off right in there i think that'll be great oh yeah let's pop a little bit of parking then we'll just take a look i feel like i need a little bit of parking right next to it excellent oh that is really cool i like that what have we got over here outdoor weightlifting thing we've got some sort of weird reflecting pool we've got like a, a pool going on here with some waves some nice slides and i'm guessing this is like somewhere to eat somewhere to get changed excellent and right here in our area by the school by the park by the shops this is going to bring a lot of people in eighty thousand a month cool blimey governor strike a light yeah well we'll see how that goes as time goes by So I'd like to use our last four points to unlock. We've got the technical university. And then we've got the geological. Oh, this one here. Discovers larger underground deposits of ore and oil. Basically, that gives you... It doesn't find new ones. It just gives the ones you've got an extra bonus uh, amount. That increases the likelihood of people graduating. This one here increases the efficiency of offices and industrial companies. This one increases the efficiency of healthcare services. I think we're going to grab both of these and take a look at them i think they're rather large buildings and we could possibly do a little something with that got an accident going on there i think it's going to be sorted you're going to shout across don't worry we're going to help you you'll be fine i don't know why the cars are disappearing because you're not supposed to be doing that but yeah this spot along the front here could we fit either of these in here whoa that is just absolutely humongous how big's this one flipping heck that is just so much larger than i thought it was going to be wow where could that go i mean we've got this sort of spot up here which i know we said about putting our castle up there but we could pop this off of this road if we can make another little connection like this if we were to get across here let's do that so if we grab one of these we're going to just grab here, hopefully, and not mess anything up. Oh, this is huge. It's humongous. It's humongous. Oh, everybody's like, yee-haw! Oh, what a good-looking building that is for up on the hill. Oh, look at the detail of this thing. The park. Can't you just... Oh, think when we get access to all of these assets that we can build ourselves in the game. They always like a good workout area, don't they? That's good. Basketball courts. Little places to hang out and study. What have we got down here? Places to eat. Oh, give me access to all these assets. Some car parking, which you can get to from around the front that is one cool looking building so then we need to do a little bit of work on the land over here let me see what we can do there we go got there in the end nice little retaining wall it does go up and down a bit that's just the lie of the land it's all a little bit lumpy bumpy but we're working with it and i think it looks good and i think this building looks fantastic as well looking across to this area here Oh, looking really, really good. So much more space in here, but we've passed 20,000, which is what I was aiming for. We're making so much money. Everybody's really happy. Let's check out our postal services and our post offices. Oh, we've got more traffic. Just before we do that, do we have asymmetric roads? We do. Do we need a bigger roundabout? Let us just see if we're going to lose a house. That's fine. You just use the bigger road and see what happens so we know these are collecting which is good um where did we put our post sorting facility all the way over here how is that working yeah this is the one that's not working i think perhaps that's what people were talking about this post sorting facility no vehicles no sorting but mail on its own is working i believe if you turn off which bit of a weird bug but yeah if you turn off your cargo train terminals this will work but at the minute i think what's happening is that that's being bypassed but it is a known bug so i'm sure that'll get 
sorted. Let us just pop back on the screen what our tourism was before. And this is what it is like after. So it was 56. Now it's 133. 3,200 odd up to 3,700 odd. Average night cost has gone up as well, which is fantastic. And certainly that water park helped. Um, it does mention on here on this policy that crime rate around tourist attractions will go up i did a before picture for the crime which is this one here uh, before it was 75 up to 85 number of criminals this number here before it was 31 a month up to 38 a month crime rate success has just gone up a couple of points of a percent nothing much at all so really not too worried about that let's check the noise whether that has actually changed doesn't look like it that looks all those highways look yellow to me. We've got no complaints about noise, so not too concerned about that either. there we go things are going very well in kettle bridge much much more to do we've got to get some mass transit into this area as well so be back next time for that subscribe so you don't miss out leave a like if you enjoyed and have a fantastic day take care everybody bye, -bye.